Uh, are you guys ready if I do the yeah, intro? Let's do it. Right. Do you want me to do ready, it for ready? you this time? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, then jump over on the Nerd Sense channel, subscribe to them, then come back, watch this review, like it, comment on it, uh, hit the notification bell, then go back to their channel, hit their notification bell. and In that order. Yeah, I think you covered it. I think so? Okay. Yeah, I think you're good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, two out of three of us are really excited for today's beer. <laughs> Uh, it's called Satan's Mile, not Satan's Smile. A missed opportunity, people. Not missed opportunity. Satan's Mile with a snake around <laughs> it, but I double checked. It's Satan's Mile, and I just looked under the uh, can. Oh, number of the yeast. Wow, that's yeah. up. clever sons of bitches. Which is awesome because it's six point six six ABV. Um, this We're doing this after night. Halloween, so we kind well, of yeah, yeah, came out right before Halloween. Uh, it's a red IPA with Amarillo, uh, Chinook, and Mosaic. Oh, we're pouring already. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I thought we were. No, no, it's fine. I'll catch up. Um, we're a little bit more professional on my channel than your guys' channel. We kind of have a way we do things. That's okay. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> you know what's funny? Is, like I said, two out of three people were excited for this beer, and uh, one of those that, that one person poured it before. I did, and I'm one of the people excited for this beer. <laughs> He's really excited just to poo-poo all over it. <laughs> um, uh, Mike doesn't really like red beers, so we'll see. Um, I mean, it does have that nice red color. Definitely some brown in the center. You know. Yeah, mahogany. Yeah, uh, good. Good word for it. <laughs> I think Mike's, uh, I don't know. They're all really dark. on, on Yeah, camera. mine's a lot lighter than appearing on camera. Yeah. They're all pretty close, but I wouldn't say any of them are exactly the yeah. color in real life. Um, no, I feel like, like if you took, I mean, any of ours, we all look pretty similar on camera. It just yeah. looks brighter in person. Yeah. When I hold it up to the light, it almost looks like a, like an apple cider. Yeah, actually, yeah. 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 So it's kind of that, if you ever had apple cider, it's like that kind of a color. Um, I don't know what we call the head. Like, is it? tan like, like a tan head it's like a it's like off white yeah it's yeah. like khaki yeah maybe yeah, like, like a light the khaki thing like a light khaki like a blonde khaki kind of yeah it is a figure yeah it looks good yeah. sticks to the side of glass you know yeah it's just looks like it should now here's a question when was the last time any of you have had a red ale uh, i mean a red ipa i have no idea it's been a while I know they've had like a Boston brick red, which is sort of a red, which is like their like Irish red rebranded sort of. I had that with you, remember? Yeah, I just the whole time. (laughs) I mean, it's been a while. Yeah, Yeah. it's gonna see aroma. Well, that was not what I expected. (laughs) It smells like. Sorry. I'm just gonna say it's tough because like we we did this is a second review we're doing, and this one doesn't like the first one we did. The aroma was just so powerful; it was so easy to identify a bunch of stuff. This one I get some like caramel, definitely sweet caramel. Have you guys, um, you know, the brand of um, of orange is simply orange. Hmm. Have you had their other branded stuff? They have like Simply Lemonade, they have Simply Fruit Punch, they have Simply... This what is smells... Simply Fruit Punch? They have it. No, I know. No, but what does bullshit. that mean? Isn't Simply Orange supposed to be just orange juice? Like just yeah, orange know, juice? No. What's Simply Fruit Punch? <laughs> it's, a, it's a bunch of bullshit is what it is. And it's not that great either, so don't worry about it. But it smells like that to me. Okay. The, the Fruit Punch one. Yeah. I almost got a like, woody character out of this, like apples. Like, there's like a woody, hoppy... Thing. Yeah, I always got an apple peel. I don't know if apple peel. Right. Yeah, and it's funny you say that, Mike, because I, I was thinking apple, but I didn't want to say it because I mentioned cider, and I was like, oh, maybe it's just in my head because I said it looks like cider, but like I do get a little bit of an apple thing. Mm-hmm. You know, honestly, what I usually get from red ales is a whole lot of like, like caramel and and kind of. 
like a stringent bitterness. It's generally what I have, and I don't like. I'm not getting that at all here. I'm getting a, I'm getting a lot of nice fruitiness. I'm getting. I don't know if I'm quite caramel, like you said. I'm maybe getting more on a molasses kind of a side, like a it's like a saccharine mm. molasses kind of a smell. But I'm getting a hell of a lot of fruitiness from this. I think get a little bit of like orange in it. There's oh, something I can't Kyle. pick. I think that might be the thing that's been confusing me, Kyle. I think I'm actually getting a little bit of orange as well. I think that's what I was missing. Yeah. Almost yeah. like stony, not stony dark fruits, like fig, fig, maybe fig. I could see fig with that that caramel, but also I like that Mike's yeah. throwing out molasses as well. I, I could see that figgy thing. It, it's not full on like a, a Belgian double or quad no. kind of a thing, but it has hints of that kind of a thing. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we should have done this one first. This is, all right, whatever. <laughs> Let's get into the taste, guys. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, fellas. That doesn't match the nose at all, huh? It's definitely like hoppier and more bitter than I got in the aroma. Which is what I figured, which is kind of why I wanted to do this second. So that didn't like kind of wreck our palates. Good call. Good call. Which from a red IPA, I think I would expect it. I was expecting it to be bitter. I get a good level of, of uh, earthy mm -hmm. hoppiness from it, you know, and, and uh, I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't have some fruit like we're talking about the aroma and i think we'll get to that but it does have this very earthy hop experience for me dead air is not good for this stuff so you guys can start talking about something <laughs> um all right i'm getting not a lot on, on the, the palate okay. it's not a whole lot. It, it, I'm basically getting nothing and then a harsh sort of piney bitterness, honestly. There is some of that old school kind of IPA pininess for sure. Yeah. I agree with what Mike said about not getting much other than that piney bitterness, but I don't agree that I, I actually really like it. I think it's just because maybe it's something I haven't had in a while. Like I am digging this old school vibe of like that, like piney bitterness. It's got like, like sort of, it has more character. It has, it has a lot of, it has, it's, it's bold. It's bold. It's a bold tasting beer. And uh, it's not, it's not juice at the end of the day, I think. So it could just be my palate liking, looking for something more like this. Like I have been gravitating more towards like West Coast, more, more bitter IPAs and obviously the lagers, right? But like, this is sort of something I think I've been looking for, but haven't thought to myself, oh, go out and get yourself a red IPA. Go out and get yourself a, a red ale. And it's, I'm, at least I'm thoroughly enjoying it while I'm not getting much in the realm of complexity of like, I can't pull like certain different things out of it. It does just have that like kind of darker malt, um, molasses -y kind of, and then it just bitters out. But for me, I dig it. I'm having a, a completely different experience. It feels kind of chilly out, honestly. But like maybe I you're just I'm... not looking for something like this. Well, in I... the... Go ahead, Kyle. Sorry. Well, just gonna say the the person who was not looking forward to this beer as much as the other two people. <laughs> but like we do have different things that you like in beer or want in beer or styles you like or don't like. How about this, Mike? We, the last beer we had, not that I want to keep going back to the other one, but the one that'll be on your guys' channel. So again, make sure you check out Nerd Sense. The Chinook is in both of these beers. I get that like little it's spicy thing spicy. you got on the last one too. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's not full on rye. But like, do you get that spiciness at least, Mike? Like just to have something to. Yeah, no, I, I, no, I, I get that that sort of that that rye tingle on my tongue after I've taken a sip, but I'm not getting that rye flavor, you know. Like I, I, I don't mean that there's there's not that there's nothing to like about this beer, but there's like nothing to talk about for me. Like I feel like I take a sip, it's almost like cloud and then bitter. Like I'm not getting like I'm not getting molasses. I'm not getting any fruit character. I'm not getting anything that's like particularly like I don't 
this is coming off the wrong way, but I don't get anything particularly pleasant. I'm getting like nothing. And then bitterness. And it's not that the bitterness is bad. I, I mean, I, I said harsh, and I, that's not maybe what I meant, but it's, I just feel like I'm not getting much. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just, like, I feel like it's just sort of there. Not bad. It's just not anything to me, honestly. This would be a nice beer to have while eating. Like people talk about pairing food and beer, food and wine, whatever. And sometimes I like that, but typically maybe it's from reviewing beers. I kind of like just having the beer, but like this would be a good beer. Like you mentioned, I forget if it was on camera. Was it on camera? Talked about Samuel Adams uh, Brickyard. I was off camera. I was off camera. Okay. So like, that's a beer to me that like, yeah, if I'm at a bar and I ordered a, pizza with my buddies and like we drank that while we're eating it's like great like this isn't pulling me away from the pizza it's not you know um commanding my attention too much it's you know whatever kind of a thing so like this would be a good beer probably to eat food with um no 100 and i think that's what i was trying to go sorry you're gonna go with the thing but i but i think that's kind of where i was going with there's not much there but it's enough to just like it's just it's drinkable yeah um so I haven't I read the back of the can. Have you guys read the can yet? Not yeah. yet. Uh, sweet pine, <laughs> fruit punch, juicy grapefruit. So no no one said grapefruit, mm -hmm. but I mean, we, we hit upon pine and fruit punch. I mean, that's kind of eerie. Um, that Mike said. Yeah, that's that, yeah, you know. That's a nose, though, not the taste. True. Well, but I, mean, I, I don't know. When I think, I guess tasting notes could be, man, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it does have the word tasting in it, but I mean, if you get in the aroma, I get that too. Um, I mean, we talked a little bit about orange. I, I'm not getting grapefruit. I, I would never, I don't think, use grapefruit as a descriptor while I'm drinking this. This is going to sound weird. I don't know if it's just because it's been in my head and I've just been trying to pull stuff out of it. And I've also been like kind of, kind of keep my hands on it to get a little warm. Old fashioned, like, a, like, the, like the cocktail. Yep. I did not. A little bit. No, that's like a drink bitters. that has bitters in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I could see like some bitters in it. Yeah, like it almost gives me it gives off like an old fashioned -y vibe. If this if they like old fashioned or even like uh almost like a man maybe an old hat in Manhattan, an old fashioned Manhattan like smashed together type thing. I can definitely see that. I actually recently bought some bitters to kind of play around with. And it did kind of, I, I get what you're saying with it. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. I'm not super versed in it, but I do see what you're saying. Yeah. I don't. But <laughs> Fair I, enough. I, I, listen, I'm being honest here. I'm, I'm sorry. No, and that's, and that's what everyone uh, involved with this wants. Yeah. No, and like, okay, so, and again, not that we, we're comparing these beers or whatever, and make, make sure you go on to Nerd Sense and watch the review we did on their channel. But like, Mike had mentioned that it's like one of the best beers we've had from Hot Butcher. This is not one of the best beers I've had from Hot Butcher. It's not a bad beer. It's just not upper echelon like we we're describing the other beer. Um, part of that's probably the style. It's not a style I gravitate towards. We just, you know, yeah, when was the last time we had a beer like this? Uh, none of us could remember because it's been a long time. Yeah, but Kyle, this is the thing is, is in, in, like, actually, let me make a quick comment about the same amount of bread. The last time I had it was with Sean at a restaurant, and I hate it the whole time while we're eating. To be fair, <laughs> <laughs> remember we had it, Sean, down at uh, yes. some place in Boston. Yeah, okay. intermission. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but this this thing is a lot of times with with Red Ale, you you are getting a strong caramel component, and that um and I I find it sort of to be a, a little bit like unpleasant, uh, the sweet. I'm not getting that here at all. I mean, as far as like what what you expect out of a Red Ale. Like, well, this is supposed to be more. Like, well, this is supposed to be a red IPA, though, so it's a little bit oh, different. No, it's supposed to have the more bittering component. I understand, but I'm not getting the other part, though. All I'm getting is bitter component. Hmm. You know, yeah. like, like I, I actually was thinking, like, maybe if I if I was getting that sort of cloyingly kind of thing, the cloying sweet caramelly thing, I if it bit it off, I'd be happy with it. And um, it's not that I'm unhappy i just don't know what i'm supposed to get out of it you know because i'm getting nothing except almost like i'm like a seltzer followed by bitterness and that sounds like i'm being shitty about it and maybe i am 
but I'm just giving you m- kind of my point of view because I don't think you guys are drinking the same beer I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but again, like that, I, I would hope anyway, people watch beer reviews because I mean, they, they take a little bit of time to do because people are actually like dissecting it, what, what they're getting, what they're not getting. You know, sometimes people go off, is it true to style? Is it whatever? This is, this, these are good things to, to be discussing. And I don't, you know, yeah. I don't know. Would I go buy a four pack of it? I don't know if I would. Um, but I'm also not hating it. I'm not going to have a problem finishing it either. I don't know. I, oh, I, I won't. That means to someone. I won't dump it, but. Yeah, I mean. no. Yeah, no, I think me personally, I probably would buy a four pack of it, but it goes back to what I was saying. Like I'm looking for something different from my palate as of recent. So this is at least hitting the spot. So this is at least going to maybe give me, it's going to scratch that itch. And I think it's actually going to scratch the itch of, I didn't realize I was looking for something like a red ale or in this case, a red IPA. And I think I may now go look at, I never thought to actually go out and buy a, a, a rail or a red IPA to, to, to see if that's what I've been looking for. So if anything, I'm happy that that this beer is here to to say, hey, Sean, that's probably what you've been looking for and you haven't been finding. So for me, I I'm I'm still really really yeah I I I dig this beer for for what it is and I'm it 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 really excites me. <laughs> so I move the panels so it goes from most excited to least excited. So that's why for people are like, why did he switch it around? That's what I'm doing. Um, all right, cool. Uh, <laughs> does anyone want to say anything else before we sign off? Nope, I'm good. I think everyone knows my uh, stance. <laughs> anything else you want to say, Michael? <laughs> well, I feel like an asshole, honestly. To be fair, no, it's, it's all good, good, brother. No, but seriously, like, people want authenticity. I mean, and if we're being completely transparent, I mean, Hot Butcher above anyone else wants honesty. I mean, that's yeah. they've said that many times. Like, we want. The feedback, we want to hear what people actually have to say. We look at untapped. A lot of people, just, they just put a number. It doesn't really give us that feedback. That's why they like sending beer out to beer reviewers who are going to dedicate time to review stuff and actually give you know thorough, their th- thorough thoughts and assessments. So nothing to be, nothing to feel bad about, nothing you didn't. It was great. It was awesome. Some weird energy at times, but no, it was great. It was great. <laughs> um, so if you watch this and you're like, I need more of this, but without no hype, Make sure you check out NerdSense. So go to their channel, check them out, subscribe, uh, NerdSense, NerdSense.net uh, to find all of their stuff. Uh, also, could just go on Instagram and put in NerdSense. Do that uh, too. You could go to Instagram and Untapped and look for No Hype Beer Reviews uh, at both of those places. Um, and as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. imbibe. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers, guys. <laughs>